I'll be sharing 25 micro SaaS success stories to help give you inspiration and to show you what's succeeding out there in the world of micro SaaS. I wanted to create a comprehensive guide here with tons of examples to give you a lot of variety. So let's dive right into it. The first micro SaaS we've taken a look at is called Hype Fury. It was started by two co-founders and last reported it was generating around that $35,000 a month in MRR. Their standout feature when they launched was the ability to schedule Twitter threads, which are a great way to grow your audience. And at the time, no other tools were doing that and so they built this SaaS to help scratch their own itch. Overall, this tool is going to make it super easy to help grow and monetize your Twitter audience. They picked the best techniques used by Twitter OGs and turned them into an app. It allows for features such as creating new content seamlessly, growing your audience, growing your email list, so you can sell more products. It's an extremely popular Twitter app, and overall, they just have tons of positive reviews here. I personally use the tool myself. It has a great user interface and it does make scheduling and creating content that much easier. Just like about every micro SaaS, they're gonna make money and revenue by charging a monthly subscription. And they actually do have a freemium plan, which is gonna help get users onboarded and utilizing the app. For our second micro SaaS, we're taking a look at Nomad List. This was founded by Peter Levels. It's essentially a database and community for digital nomads or remote workers. So if you're looking to travel to a different city and live in a different city around the world it's going to rank them by a whole bunch of factors things such as wi-fi temperature internet community and fun it's a great resource and has been featured in quite a few publications such as the new york times financial times bbc cnn and usa today they're going to generate revenue by charging for their slack community it is a reoccurring subscription and they have quite a few members here we can see in this period alone they have 431 new members and it's a great way to connect with other digital nomads and remote workers many different companies have tried to copy this but peter himself has quite a strong brand and this site here has a really strong brand and so it really hasn't been top and overall it's a super cool idea that has done extremely well let's take a look at our next micro SaaS. this one is called karma and it allows for true bonding from remote teams you can build a stronger happier team set goals track performance and reward excellence on slack it's used by large companies such as twitter microsoft and vmware and it's a micro SaaS that's built on top of another platform so it's going to integrate heavily with slack making it super easy to reward your employees. There's a lot of really successful micro SaaSes out there built on top of other platforms. Popular ones include Shopify, WooCommerce, WordPress, Slack, Salesforce. By building a micro SaaS on these platforms, you're integrating with tools that are existing out there and are super popular. If you're also building something on the Shopify app store as an example, it can also help you get distribution. The same goes for a platform such as WordPress. And that can be one of the hardest parts of creating a micro SaaS. So definitely a cool micro SaaS as you've seen a lot of teams go more remote and so providing a way to engage and reward them is something that many companies are going to need. In terms of pricing for this one, they go a monthly subscription, but they're actually going to charge per user rather than charging on a per feature basis. For our next micro SaaS, we take a look at repurpose.io. And what this allows you to do is to take a piece of content like this YouTube video as an example, and then repost it to a bunch of different social media platforms automatically. This can save a lot of time as if I were to do that manually, I have to go download the video and then format it and then go individually schedule and post it to all the social media platforms that I have. And that can be quite time consuming. And so this micro SaaS is gonna help you do the heavy lifting. They have over 146,000 content creators, personal brands, social media managers, and digital marketers. So you can automate things and not outsource it. As if you were to compare it directly to paying someone, this is very affordable and can do it much faster. I personally use Repurpose and I'm loving it so far as it's really sped up the process for me. In terms of how they generate revenue, it's gonna be on a monthly subscription basis and they do it by feature dating and giving a persona to each of these plans as well. But the top end, you do have your agency plan and that's really gonna be focused on the higher end and I think it's a great thing to have multiple price points that lets you target different customer needs and customer segments as there's always going to be a group out there that is looking for all the features and they're willing to pay more. For our next micro SaaS, let's take a look at Text Magic. It's a marketing software for businesses and you can transform customer experiences with their easy to use text messaging marketing software. You can do things such as send notifications, alerts, reminders, confirmations, and SMS marketing campaigns anytime and anywhere. Rather than charging a monthly price, they're gonna have prepaid credit. So you're gonna buy groups of text messaging, 
and then you can actually utilize that credit down. When you're creating your micro SaaS, it's so important to decide on the right pricing plan. Is it gonna be pay as you go? You're gonna charge by feature or you're gonna charge by user? You really wanna make sure you're setting that up correctly and providing the best experience for the consumer. Next, let's take a look at Translate Press. It's a WordPress translation plugin that anyone can use. So it's gonna be a better way of translating your WordPress site directly from the front end and it's going to have full support for WooCommerce, complex themes and site builders. So as mentioned a few micro SaaSes ago, building on platforms is a great way to get distribution. You can see this plugin is on over 300,000 websites. They translate into over 220 languages. They have 950 plus five-star reviews. A lot of these platforms as a core, taking WordPress as an example, are going to have all the features built into it. So what they've done is they've essentially outsourced it to different developers who can create plugins to make their product even better to use. A strong comparable is just the iOS app store, or the Android app store. Your phone becomes much better overall because of all the apps available for just about every use case. Next, let's take a look at a micro SaaS called Banner Bear. This was founded by one founder named John, and it's essentially gonna allow you to automate and scale your marketing. So it's gonna auto generate social media visuals, e-commerce banners, and more with their API integrations. And so basically, if you send an API request, it's gonna give you a visual back. It's going to save you a lot of time because rather than going to Canva or something else and having to manually format everything, especially for images that you want generated quickly, this can save you a ton of time here. They currently do over 600,000 in AR and their goal is to reach 1 million in the near future. Vanderbilt has an excellent startup journey story and he does a great job of outlining the different stages. You can see the full recap of zero to 36K MRR, zero to 10K MRR, and then 10 to 20K MRR. So overall, great resource here and a great story. And I encourage you to check that out as well. If you've made it this far in the video, I think you're really gonna like my free micro SaaS video training. There's gonna be a link in the description below. And it's gonna come with other bonuses such as sneaky micro SaaS ideas you can steal and SaaS founder stories. It's completely free and there's a link in the description below. So make sure you check that out. For our next micro SaaS, let's take a look at Nailed It. And it allows you to understand your people and involve anyone. It's an employee engagement platform for modern people and HR teams who deliver the best employee experience. So you've had around 340 uploads on Product Hunt, which is pretty high and more than 10,000 people are using it in their company culture. So overall, a cool SaaS app that allows for real-time people analytics, built-in workflows and surveys, so you can drive real change together. It also makes it easy to involve managers and motivate your people. Next, let's take a look at Plausible. It's easy to use, privacy-friendly Google Analytics alternative. It's intuitive, lightweight, and open source web analytics, no cookies, and fully compliant with GDPR, CCPA, and PECR, so made and hosted in the EU and powered by European owned cloud infrastructure. So a lot of people are tired of Google Analytics, especially with their new update. I've personally found it harder to use. A lot of the reports I had before are hard to find and hard to navigate. I had to switch everything over as you did have to migrate. And if you stopped the migration or didn't actually do it, you're gonna lose a ton of data. In terms of pricing for this, it is open source. So I believe you can install it and set it up for yourself. But if you want them to host and set everything up for you, you can pay by monthly visits. This is often a great way to price your product based on some kind of key limitation as you can target smaller companies to larger companies, but essentially not get run over by a really big company that's getting an amazing deal. Next, let's take a look at solid gigs. You can get freelance leads on autopilot. So expert gig hunters match you with the top 1% of freelance jobs from dozens of premium sources. So you can generate more leads in less time. You can see the old way. So it's rely on unpredictable client referrals, spend hours sifting through job boards. Whereas with solid gigs, you can enjoy predictable leads every weekday and focus on work you actually enjoy. In terms of pricing, they just do one flat price with no extra fees at $35 or $21 a month based on a yearly plan. For our next micro SaaS, let's take a look at PDF Shift. It allows you to convert your HTML to PDF fast, easily, and safely. Last reported, they did around $3,500 in MRR. They've done over 30 plus million conversions with over 17,000 loyal users. This was founded by a solo founder and he spent many different tries trying to get a micro SaaS to work successfully, but thankfully this one really nailed it for him. So PDF Shift delivers instant high quality website and HTML conversions to PDF via API. In terms of pricing, they have different plans depending on the number of credits you're looking to use. They go up to $39 a month. Next, let's take a look at My Ask AI. It basically lets you create your own channel 
ChatGPT, add your content and launch it anywhere. So it's going to save hours of searching with instant answers from all your contents and documentation. So you can essentially just upload all your documentation. Then it's going to make it super easy to find anything in that. This is great if you're maybe an e-commerce store or a site that gets a lot of the same questions and you're just searching in the FAQ and providing those answers. This can do it instantly in a very chat friendly way. Chatbots have been around for years, but overall, they're just not a great experience. And I think this can help solve that. This product got to product market fit quite quickly. And they went from zero to $14,000 in MRR in just a few short months. And they currently have over 26,000 users saving hours, reading, scrolling, searching, and waiting with my Ask AI. Next, let's take a look at Influence Kit. It allows for wildly easy reporting for brands, agencies, and influencers. They trusted by some huge brands here. We can see Rust-Oleum, Wagnar, and Pure Flavor. They really took something that was more of a manual process and automating it all. So no more chasing influencers for screenshots, never update a campaign spreadsheet manually again, and effortlessly prove your campaign ROI with Influence Kit. They did an excellent job with their pricing. They have a wide range of plans here, so it's a pay-as-you-go, so no monthly fee, pay-as-you-need. Then starts at $1.99 a month, going all the way up to $1,200 a month, depending on the number of influencers you have. So they really segment that to different brands and different needs for their product. Next, let's take a look at Resi. It's the way the world makes resumes, the smartest GPT-powered resume builder. So again, it's on the AI trend here. It's the only resume platform that uses leading AI to automate every aspect of creating a hireable resume. We all know the struggle of creating a resume and it used to be so manual, so much manual formatting in a Word document that really just doesn't look that great overall. So I think creating a resume builder was definitely a super cool product to have. They have over 900,000 users. They have 62% interview rate. That seems like a really cool statistic there and just definitely a flex for this product. So your resume and cover letter, automation, nothing short of magic. They have tons of different templates. In terms of how they charge, they have quite a few different plans. They have a one-time plan. So if you're willing just to pay for the lifetime, you can get a lot of revenue for the micro SaaS company up front. They also have different monthly plans depending on the number of features you're looking for. They also have a freemium plan here to really get people into the product. Next, let's take a look at HostFi. It's fast and reliable Unify in the cloud, so it can remotely monitor and manage Unify network devices. They have over 2,000 happy customers. It's definitely a microSaaS that targets something very specific. So it allows for instant setup, and they have dedicated support, and it is secure. So it started from a need that the founder had, and he was operating an IT service business and installing these types of products for their customers, and it did make sense to keep purchasing a cloud key for each site to manage the devices. Then he realized he could install Unify on one cloud server and connect it to all kinds of locations instead. And so there's a bunch of work involved in that. And that's why he created HostFi to help provide this service for others. In terms of how they generate revenue it is going to be on that monthly basis, gated by the number of devices you have. I also want to say that if you're interested in building your own micro SaaS, I have a course that's going to be linked in the description below, where I'll show you how to build a micro SaaS that generates recurring revenue in just 60 days or your money back. It's a blueprint that takes programmers from finding and validating their idea to making their first $10,000 a month in MRR. So again, link in the description below. Check that out if you're interested. Our next micro SaaS is going to be one called FOMO. It allows you to increase sales, trust, and credibility. It's an automated social proof solution for businesses like yours. This product originally started as a Shopify app, but has then since expanded to be available on just about any site with tons of different integrations. And social proof helps to increase conversions and so it's an extremely popular app that has over 108 plus integrations at this point. In terms of pricing, they're going to do it depending on the number of notifications, up to 100,000 notifications a month at $99 on the plus plan. And then at their most expensive end, it's going to be $4.99 a month. So they really have different price points depending on the utilization you're using of it, which again is such a great way to segment your customers between more of the hobby end to the larger business end. Next, we'll be taking a look at Lasso CRM. And so it's a CRM built for new home sales. And so what they did is they really niche down their CRM to a specific category. There are just so many CRM tools out there and it can be really hard to stand out. One way to do that is to niche down. And they picked a very specific category that they seem to know well. 
And overall, some great reviews here. Someone saw a 15 to 20% difference in sales year over year since the company implemented the Lasso CRM. Next, let's take a look at scraping ant. So web scraping without getting blocked, and they're gonna handle headless browsers and rotating proxy servers for you. So you get unlimited parallel requests, and they have over 3 million plus proxy servers worldwide. And you can open your web page in a real browser with over 99% uptime and 85.5% AD scraping avoidance rate with custom cloud browsing solutions. So overall, definitely targeting a very specific niche with a ton of benefits here, then you scrape the web easily. I have done a little bit of web scraping before and it is so easy to get blocked. And so that's where this solution comes in. They do a great job with their documentation, making it really easy to find the answers you're looking for. In terms of how they generate revenue, it's with monthly plans with API credit and limits. I like when a lot of pricing pages do this is they're just going to identify the target market for the plan. So you can see freelancers and students would use the enthusiast and then the business plan is for larger teams and full blown companies. For our next micro SaaS, this one is called Gift Senda and it's going to allow for global corporate gifting made easy. You can send employee, clients and sales gift internationally using their super easy to use SaaS product. And they're going to provide various solutions depending on your gifting needs. So they have one-time gifts, they have subscription plans, as well as an e-commerce shop. You can feel free just to buy one-off products. They've delivered to over 200 countries and they have 20 years of international gifting experience with over 10,000 gift options available. So again, definitely targeting a specific niche and a specific type of gift giving. This is most likely the B2B side as you're giving gifts to clients and customers to help build your customer relationships. Next, we'll take a look at Trendly so you can discover the rising trend you haven't heard of and piggyback on early trends before they take off. One of the best ways to build a product is to be early. It's extremely hard to do though, and that's where a SaaS app like this comes in. You can see some undercover curated trends here, such as barefoot shoes, low FODMAP, Whataburger, Letterboxd. These are some of the free ones shown as examples here. And it's different from Google Trends as they're great at finding things you haven't. You can also see trends from outside of your country, which I think is super cool too as there's going to be many trends that are start in one country and then spread to other ones. This is going to give you really high signal to noise ratio. And they have a completely free plan and a newsletter they've really built up here with over 24,000 subscribers. Then as you start to go on the paid plan, you can see it's $99 per year. They have 126 users using it. Next, we'll take a look at Card with two R's. It's a simple, free, fully responsive one-page site for pretty much anything. There are a lot of website builders out there but a lot of people just looking for one page. And so that's where this micro SaaS comes in. So you can build a one page site rather than have to configure with tons of different settings and pay an expensive plan. It makes it super simple to create these one page websites and the core features are gonna be completely free. In terms of their paid plan, they're only charging $19 a year which seems extremely cheap, especially in comparison if you were to try to build a WordPress site or a Squarespace site. They've really nailed their target market, I think. I would say this one is actually more of a B2C service as they're probably targeting a lot of content creators and people with social media presences. And for $19 a month, or sorry, a year, that is extremely cheap. Next, let's take a look at Social Bee. So more leads, less effort. Social Bee helps you manage your social media accounts from one place, create, schedule, publish, and analyze, and you can save time and grow your profiles with an affordable tool. They have over thousands of users and like many SaaS apps, they're going to offer a free trial with no credit card required. This is going to help get users into your SaaS app so they can test things out and figure out if it's a right fit for them. If you compare this to the video game industry, it's like giving out a demo where people can actually play through it and it's much easier to convince someone to try a free trial with no credit card than it is for them to start paying right away. It's used by quite a few big brands here. We can see University of Regina, the Marriott, D-Link, Remax, Fulfillment. You can also use Canva for content creation, making it super easy to integrate the two of them. And again, just like some of the previous micro SaaS apps we looked at, they have plans for solopreneurs and small businesses, and they have larger plans for agencies and social media managers. So it starts at $24 a month and $82 a month for agencies with 25 profiles and a few more settings tacked on. Next, we'll take a look at any track. So ad tracking and attribution software. So you can join hundreds of DTC brands, e-commerce and lead generation agency 
who rely on AnyTrack to help attribute and send their conversion data across all their platforms. So they work with quite a few different types of businesses such as lead gen funnels, DTC brands, comparison websites, authority blogs, info businesses, and offline conversions. And so if you're really trying to scale on the ads, it's extremely hard to keep track of everything, especially with all the new updates. There's so many times where it's gonna miss conversions and you're gonna have no idea if that campaign is successful. So if I had to just take a guess here, this type of micro SaaS is really targeted at medium to larger brands is they're going to have that ad spend revenue to actually justify using it. Being said at $50 a month actually isn't that too expensive and it goes up to $300 a month depending on the number of websites you have. Next I thought it'd be really important to take a look at some larger micro SaaS companies. This one's called links.co so you can centralize your online presence with links, gather all your social media channels, music videos all in one place, it's great for social media profiles such as Instagram, where you can only show one link on your profile. It's basically gonna open up another page, then you select quite a few different link options and making it really easy to show the customer what you want them to click and what they might wanna see. Linktree is another popular alternative to this, but Links has over 10,000 artists, creators, small business owners, that use it to help build their online presence. We start at $4 a month, going up to $10 a month on the pro plan. For the last one, this is gonna be ConvertKit. This was started by Nathan Berry and was originally quite a small SaaS app. And it was something he actually almost gave up because it wasn't generating enough revenue for him. But now it generates around $29 million a year in revenue. They have quite a large team and is worth around $100 million. But the basic premise of it is still the same. It's an email marketing app that's built for creators to help grow and monetize their audience with ease. They're gonna do these standard things such as a 14 day free trial, no credit card required, and you can cancel anytime. They have a freemium plan here at $0 a month and it's gonna go up in price depending on the number of subscribers your newsletter or email has. So this is gonna conclude the video here. I went over 25 different micro SaaS examples and success stories. I really hope you enjoyed the video here and you have such a better understanding now of micro SaaS as a whole. Again, there is a link in the description where you can get access to my free micro SaaS training. I also have a course on how to build a micro SaaS that generates reoccurring revenue in just 60 days or your money back where you can discover the blueprint that takes programmers from finding and validating their idea to making their first $10,000 a month in MRR. I'll leave the link in the description to this below as well, so make sure you check that out. Now, if you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below, leave a comment on your favorite SaaS ideas and SaaS examples, as I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.